What do you have to say for yourself, Buck? Welcome, everybody. Buck, get out of the way, Buck. Jeez. Oh, I forgot to feed you. Hello, everyone. This is Stevio, and we are back on the Millennial Farmer map. And boy, do we have a busy day today. We need to get to harvesting. And uh, guess what? We got some new toys. Quiet down, Buck. Quiet down. Yes, yes, I... You can't leave me at an auction. I just have to spin, spin, spin. And I think I got a good deal on this Power Stroke. I mean, I got it for about 40000 We did pick up on a Harvester. Yeah, so the banker isn't very happy with me. I kind of bought a new planter. And boy, is it expensive. It is about worth uh, three times, four times as much as the white case in front of it. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. That's way too much weight for that old case. It just hops. It doesn't even, can't even run it. So now I'm stuck. Like, what What am I going to be planting with? So now i got to get a planting tractor. I did get something else. It's over there on the grain cart right now, but we'll go see that later. What am I going to put on the planting tractor? If you know me... You know, I'm a kind of a collector. I just kind of collect all these tractors. I really don't even have anything close to the technology that planting tractor needs. So this might be a lot of upgrades. I'm sure it's possible. Getting uh, auto steer and precision ag, all them uh, add-ons you need for a planting tractor isn't very isn't the easiest if you don't really have a tractor that's less than 10 years old. I mean, the 4455 is by far my newest tractor. I guess I kind of collect the old stuff. But today, Zach wants to try beans. So we are going to go to... I guess we're going to run to his field. I do have problems with this corn head. I found... Uh, I'm hoping I didn't buy a lemon. I know it is yellow, but... Uh, I'm hoping not because there's some serious issues. I've already put the the truck to use here. Good thing the corn isn't ready yet anyway, so we got uh, a few days. I have been working late at night. Trust me, I've been trying my butt off trying to get ready for harvest. One of the best things about this TR, it's got a cat in it. Yeah, big old V8 in it. I got my wife to uh, help me out here. For whatever reason, she wanted to drive the harvester. Don't ask me. I guess uh, she, she wants to drive this thing. Careful. A little bumpy there. There is probably little to no reason why we need to have our hazards on when there is no one down the country road. What is my wife doing? It's, it's a straight road. Okay. Yeah, it's straight roads are hard, I guess. Is there something invisible I'm not seeing on this road? I don't see anything there. Whatever it was, she missed it. I'm positive. You guys probably are wondering what did uh, did Zach buy anything from the auction? He actually did. You could see a 9R sitting over there. Yep. It's way, uh, it's over the head, so I guess, uh, Zach still has his 9870 here. Wow, he has it on his 40-foot head. Zach ended up getting this old beautiful girl here. Got it on his tillage. I wish my wife didn't have to park the, the harvesters next to each other. Yeah, that 9870, what is it, 10 years? 10 years plus old, and uh, it's still uh, it's still a giant compared to the TR. Hey, I can only afford what I can't afford. We really don't need the straight truck in the grain cart. But Zach just begged us. I guess he wants to put this on video. I really think he's probably just going to make fun of me the whole time. For the size of my grain cart and truck, they, uh, his semis and his beautiful American flag grain cart there, they kind of dwarf our uh, setup. I guess I'm just not that big of a deal like Zach is. It gets it done, it just takes 
four trips to his one. All right, got that here. Just gotta wait. I don't know what I think about this for sure. It's a, it's a yellow cap. You'll see. Yep. It's kind of hard to look at sometimes. It's a 4630. Oh, Jim is driving it for us. I really like the tractor. Man, that yellow cap. I don't know. I just, I, I think I might try to buy a John Deere green cap, put it on there. It does kind of match the grain cart. Don't get me wrong, the tractor's beautiful. I just don't know for sure if I like that cap on there or not. All right, watch out for that tractor. Oh, wow. Zach is scooting across over here. Huh. All right, he must know a back way to this field. Wow, this is tight in here. How the heck did Zach get that head through here? This is like a magician or something. Okay. What? Holy cow, Zach. Look at Zach, man. Beast mode to that creek, crick. Cricker or creek? Whatever it is. Uh, I can't let him show me up that much. There's a big rock right there. Watch out. Oh, wow, he is already starting in. Man. All right. Okay, I guess I'm just following him around here. Okay. Don't take off too quick there, Zach. All right. I'd like everyone to know my harvester may be a lot smaller than Zach's than Zach's number two harvester. But at least it was cheaper. It's okay. My wife said that size doesn't matter. Beans are harvesting good. We got about 60 bushels, maybe, maybe 70 bushels, which is good for this area. They uh, definitely are shelling away. Almost that perfect, almost perfect. You kind of see the dust in the air. Just uh, almost perfectly set up for a, a beautiful harvesting day. So Zach's uh, head size is about double what this TR. No, I didn't mean that. I mean the head on this harvester is about double the size, but I still can't even catch up with them. Old yeller can't get there. Come on, old yeller. Get on up there. Kind of a hilly countryside we got going here. He's, I guess these beams on this side are really dry. Yeah, I don't... I gotta make sure. So it's it might be an old uh, wife's tale or something, but uh, I was always told you have to uh, run a chain from your back axle and let it drag. So all the static in your harvester when you're running and everything is uh, hopefully uh, transmitted to the ground. And there's a lot less uh, heart combine fires that way. Uh, I don't know if it works. I know the old timers used to do it all the time. Maybe the new technology uh, has figured out all the friction issues and they don't get as bad as static uh, interference. But I'm not an engineer, so don't ask me. Okay, I guess we will see where uh, he wants to start in over here which side of the field he wants to run. Is he going to run this side right here? Oh, he's backing up. Where are you? 
Where are you going? Where? Oh, let me get out of the way. Holy cow. Oh, you try to help a guy out, and this is what they do for you. I don't know. Maybe I might make it to the other end of the field. Well, that was the 80% warning there. It's getting fuller. What is Zach doing over there? Is he trying to run the edge there? I'm not for sure. Zach is definitely on the mission there. Couldn't tell you what he's doing though. There, I'll put my dinky little uh, auger out. Maybe my wife might see it. Think she can hear this over here? Ready. Kind of like when I'm ready to eat. All right, my wife finally got the notification. Wait a second. Is she going over to unload Zach? Oh, oh my goodness. She is. She's gonna unload. Zach, not me. Yeah, I am still waiting. It looks like my wife now is unloading. You've got to be kidding me. Yep, guess I'm not a big deal even to my wife. Just sit here, twiddle my thumbs. Oh, maybe, maybe I might, I might get unloaded finally. I guess uh, we could just uh, watch uh, Zach go by, beans. Uh, we're not doing anything else. Look at him go here. Is that? Whoa, Zach! Zach! Something's hot. Oh, this ain't good. This ain't good at all. Oh, oh, this ain't good. This ain't good. Better call 911 now. Oh, well, sure. Now my wife comes. Now that Zach is in danger, of course. Hey, hey, call 911. Oh, look at it. It's completely in flames. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Uh, what? Holy cow. Are, hey, that's, that's my bean field. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I guess. Oh, my goodness. Every, don't worry about my beans. Don't, don't worry at all. Are they coming? Let me make sure they know we're over here. It's the giant fire in the field. Yep. Yep. Go towards the huge cloud of black smoke. Okay, yeah, drive around Zach's field, but not mine. I guess... I guess they couldn't... Whoa! I think... Whoa, whoa! Holy cow! It's all for the views. Maybe Zach planned this for his YouTube. That harvester's toast. No, Zach, I don't want to buy it now. That's for dang sure. Uh, I hope these boys know what they're doing. Ooh, this is hot up here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time over here by the campfire. Later, y'all. Make sure like and share the video. Thanks, y'all. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. Alright. While everyone's uh, over there by the fire, I caught my wife. Finally. Don't worry, no millennial farmer was hurt in the making of this video.